All right, let me see if I can explain this without going on a million different tangents because there's so much here. The Ethiopian Human Rights Commission is a government agency. Although it likes to claim it's independent, it is absolutely not. A 2019 Amnesty report found that when investigating abuses by government entities, this agency, this commission, is quick to blame other actors, opposition parties, even the victims of the crimes themselves. Yesterday, this commission admitted that at the Aksu massacre, which happened in late November, happened. Amnesty reports in that massacre, Eritrean troops killed hundreds of civilians in Aksum. We knew this way early on, but it was confirmed by an amnesty report in February. The government, if I could quote the Ministry of Foreign Affairs at the time, said, lies, damn lies. That was its official response to that report. Issue of Eritrean troops who are being blamed for this Aksu massacre. The government has been denying that there have been Eritrean troops in Tigray until yesterday. Days after U.S. Senator Kuhns visited Ethiopia, all of a sudden, the prime minister says, yeah, there are Eritrean troops in Tigray. The reason that this is such a big deal is because Eritrea, first of all, is a different country. And it's been a dictatorship for most of the 30 years that President Isaias Afwerk has been in charge. It's a brutal dictatorship. It's only second to North Korea in terms of human rights abuses. Everybody there, if they stay in the country, has to join the military indefinitely. So they are born and bred to be soldiers, and they are born and bred by this uh, president to hate Tigray, the people of Tigray, and Tigrayan political leadership. So when you allow soldiers from this country to be in Tigray, you're co-signing all the evil acts that are possible. One of the most frustrating things is a lot of Ethiopians denying all of this up until now. Maybe you're still denying it now that the prime minister is saying it. But literally there was a rally and there have been several rallies across the U.S., including here in L.A., where people celebrated this war, where speakers denied that the Aksu massacre ever happened. All this, by the way, is really a case for press freedom. When you don't have a proper press in a country, people can say whatever they want. But fortunately, we have foreign press and uh, aid agencies and humanitarian agencies that have been crying about all the civilian casualties in Tigray for months. I don't know one person with connections to Tigray that's not affected, including my family. I know that a distant family member, I don't know them, so don't feel sorry for me, was killed by an Eritrean troop. We've lost another close friend. Again, don't feel sorry for me, we're the lucky ones in this stupid war. This prime minister is a pathological liar. This country outside of Tigray is descending into chaos. There's violence not just in Tigray, all over the country. So at what point are people going to smarten up and start actually being critical of what's going on right now? So in the Mykadra massacre, which happened about a week into this war, around November 12th, this commission was one quick to determine that there was a massacre. It took them about two days and to determine who was responsible. They said it was a youth group named Samri from Tigray, and that a majority of the victims are of Amhara descent. That massacre was used as further fuel for this war on the people of Tigray. So when it serves the interest of the government, this commission is quick to do its job and do it poorly, uh, quick to blame whoever it want, it needs to blame for its, its agenda. But when it's just about doing the right thing, they're not there for it.